Hey, what's up, Seekers? Juan Doogie, Total Value of Fortune, Security Rep Psychic. Today, we're going to do a compatibility countdown. Not just the ships, but see who's most compatible of all her co stars, actors, singers that maybe she's been seen with, and see which one's most compatible. And I want you to help me out uh, to count them down. So, want to join? Here we go. I'm your K Rap Psychic. Try me twice, you'll like it, like it. My name is Wanuji. OGs call me Wanuji. I'm a wise fortune teller and a really mellow fella. Ask me about your favorite idol. See their future, see what's vital. And then Haseyo Yolobun, come on in. We're going to be doing a compatibility countdown for a very popular actress who uh, we love. Um, and it's Kim Yu Jung. She's been acting for uh, since she's been four years old. Now she's 21, 22, three in age. And so she's been doing this for a long time, 16, 18 years. Very good actress. She's been seen and acted with and being rumored with different people uh, through her, her times. And so we're going to go through them and uh, pick out the ones that maybe she acted with or was with or seen with and maybe even shipped with and see who's most compatible all those. So are you ready? Are you junkies? Here we go. So number 15, there's 15 of them. We've got 15 different people that she's uh, been seen with, been rumored with, been shipped with, co-starred with. The first uh, person is an actor, a very popular actor, uh, just a few years older than her. And he is uh, very popular, very handsome, very attractive. There was a lot of rumors about them being a couple about three years ago. And that is Park Bogum. Park Bogum. So Park Bogum, um, he's acting a lot of different things. Uh, he was very uh, uh, popular with her in a historical drama. It was uh, came out in 2016, and it was called Love in the Moonlight. So Love in the Moonlight. She was in there. He was in there. They had a lot of uh, a lot of controversy. A lot of uh, rumors that maybe they were actually dating. And uh, there was a lot of speculation about that. Now, Park Bogum was born on June 16, 1993. Uh, she was born on, Kim Yoo Jung was born on September 22nd, 1999. So he's about six years older than her. You know, he's actually about 27, 28, you know, depending on which system you use, or he's six foot. So he's pretty tall, 183 centimeters, and he's a Gemini. So let's see. Based on four criteria we're going to use for these 15 people, we're going to use, like we always do, we're going to look at the numerology, we're going to look at the Batsa Chinese astrology, we're going to look at the uh, Indian Vedic astrology, and we're going to look at the Western Zodiac astrology. And we're going to get some percentages of compatibility, add some points up based on that compatibility, and come up with a final number to see how compatible. And out of the 15 that we picked, even though they're a really handsome couple, really good looking couple, He's actually number 15. So let's look at the numbers. And they are, okay, 79% uh, numerology, only 20% Batsu, 75% Vedic, and 49% Western astrology. So it all averages out to 56% and four points. Now the points are over 50, you get one point, over 75, you get two points, over 85, you get three points in any one category, and you combine them all. So he only has 56% compatibility and only four points. You know, maybe a little bit disappointed because it wasn't higher, but that's what's going on. He's in the army now, so he's enlisted in the South Korean army, so he's not available right now anyway. Number 14 is somebody that uh, Kim Yoo Jung uh, acted with a long time ago, uh, maybe back in eight years ago and seven years ago. They were together in a thing called May Queen when she was only, I don't know, a, teen, a young teen, 12, 13 years old. And uh, he was young as well. Uh, he's not much older. Um, he's a, she's about five years older. Or no, he's sorry. He's not much older. He's only maybe a year older than her. So about the same age. And they did another uh, thing called Golden Rainbow in uh, 20, uh, 2013. And this uh, this person is 25, 26 years old. He's five foot 11, uh, 180 centimeters or so, and he's an Aquarius. So let's look at the numbers for him, and it is So Young Ju. So Young Ju from May Queen and Golden Rainbow with Kim Yu Jung. The numbers are, so you can see all the different numbers, but really the, la the last number is the most important one, and it's 58% compatibility and 
four points. So Seo Youngju is number 14 on the compatibility list. Uh, number 13. This person is a, a Sag Sagittarius, quite a bit older. They actually haven't, I don't think they've ever actually acted together. Kim Yo Yoo Jung just left her old agency and just signed up with a new agency called Awesome Entertainment. This person, very popular rom-com, romantic comedy kind of actor, male lead, is with the same agency. So maybe in the future they might be doing something together. And this person was born on December 16th, 1988, Sagittarius, and it is Park Seo-joon. Park Seo-joon, and they haven't acted together, but they're in the same agency. And so let's see what the numbers say. So 69, 70, 61, 36 only on Zodiac, not too good. Adds up to 59%. So one percentage point higher than Seo Youngju, and one point less actually, but uh, the percentage takes percent precedence over the points. So he's number 13 in compatibility. Not ships, we're not talking about popularity, we're talking about compatibility based on these systems um, with Kim Yu Jung. So, number 12. Number 12, you know, is somebody that I think uh, also was the, about eight years ago is when they acted together. Uh, they were both in the May Queen, uh, the drama called The May Queen. And, you know, where she pay, played kind of a poor farmer and, you know, he was trying to help her out. And after that, you know, I, he, I haven't seen much of him, you know, after a couple of years of, the, of that and it came out and the promotions. I, I don't know what happened to him. I don't have a lot of information on him. Maybe you, maybe you do, if, you, if you're a fan. Maybe you can tell me what's up with him, what's going on, because you know, I haven't checked out his Facebook page and it's still got pictures from back then. So I don't know what happened to him. I uh, hope it's okay. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be much in the public eye. And that is Park Gunte. Park Gunte. Uh, they acted together in 2012 in a, in a series called May Queen. And he's born in February 5th, 1996. So he's only about two, three years older than her. He's, uh, so he's 24, 25. She's like 21, 22, something like that. He's five foot nine, 175 centimeters, uh, and an Aquarius. And so let's look at the numbers and the compatibility. They are 64, 90, 44, uh, the Vedic is below 100%, uh, 50%, so it's red, 58% the Zodiac, so 64% is the average, and five points. So he's number 12. But if you know what happened to him, if you have some, you know, inside information, what happened, um, you know, around this time, maybe a little bit later, uh, she mentioned that she maybe uh, had a, was dating for about the, you know, 10 months with somebody. Didn't say who it was. Maybe it was Park Gante, but he's kind of not showed up and she, you know, to our knowledge, hasn't dated since then that we are aware of. But she was very young then. She was only about, you know, just a teenager, preteen, 12, 13 years old. So let's go to number 11. Number 11 is somebody that she just acted with and uh, in her latest series, it was called Backstreet Rookie. And this person is much older than her. And in fact, he's the male lead of Backstreet Rookie. He's a cancer, born, born July 5th, 1987. And so he's 33, 34, he's five foot 10, 176 centimeters. And it is Ji Chang-wook. Ji Chang-wook, he's the co-star, leading, leading man for the leading lady, Kim Yu jung in their latest uh, series that just ended this summer uh, called Backstreet Rookie, kind of based on a webtoon, um, kind of a, you know, a convenience store, 24 hour convenience store um, setting and plot. Uh, and so let's see what the, the numbers say on their compatibility, because they acted together. Let's see what it is. Ji Chang Wook, um, 72%. That's a good number, 70%. Good, 51%, 68%, so all good numbers, but only one point each. And so it averages out to 65% uh, average score, and compatibility, and four points. They're obviously years apart and have good chemistry are on, on, the, on the show, but not very good compatibility you know, in real life for the long term. And so, who's number 10? So number 10, th this person and... Uh, Yu Jung, uh, they 
They acted in a series back in 2017, about three years, came out 2017, about three years ago. Um, and actually, this person is much older, uh, much older. The oldest one on this on this group of co-actors, um, co-stars. And this person, they, they kind of had a, a series, of kind of, a, I guess, comedy, and where, I guess, one of those you know, gender bender kind of she came into his body or something like that. Um, and, uh, you know, all the commotion that came from that. And it was called Because I Love You back in, I think it came out in 2017. And this person is uh, born March 25th, 1976. So he's actually 44, 45. And actually he's married uh, and has a couple children. And it's Cha Taehyun. Cha Taehyun. And sadly, you know, he got caught up in... Um, uh, some scandals uh, in the last year, couple years, uh, regarding kind of hidden camera uh, issue that came up that kind of uh, got Sungri from uh, Big Bang into big trouble and all that kind of, all those people. And um, and then he used to be part of one of the hosts to uh, Two Days One Night, and the other host there kind of got you know got convicted for this uh, inappropriate behavior and also. Cha Taeyeon, you know, had some gambling issues with golfing and stuff. So, so his career is, you know, are, are totally like indefinitely on hold, um, maybe over because of this whole scandal. Anyway, let's look at the compatibility for him and Kim Joo Young. They did act together. The numbers are, and they are 75, 70, 69. It's in purple. I'll tell you why. 48 for Zodiac. So the average is 66% compatibility, and only four points. So purple part is, uh, for Vedic astrology, is a certain kind of condition that kind of, um, kind of suggests that they shouldn't be a couple anyway. So we can talk about that later because there may be more of those coming up. But that's number 10. So number 9 is another actor from the latest, her latest uh, series, Backstreet Rookie 2020 series. And uh, you, you may think this is kind of crazy. You may have never thought about this, but they did, they did act together and they actually did something else together. Um, so it was uh, Yim Moon Suk. Um, and um, he, after the Backstreet Rookie thing, he, had a, he has a series where he invites uh, these stars to come out and then he kind of has a little cooking camper kitchen and he kind of makes something for them. And they kind of talk and have a kind of a show. And so, uh, he had Kim Yoo-jung come on and as a guest and he cooked up some you know some kind of omelet thing or something uh, so they did a you know kind of an interview together and he kind of cooked some things for her. and you know he kind of was giving her advice and but he's much older than her he's he's also uh, he's like 37 38 he was born in 1982 December 7 1982 so he's a Sagittarius he's five foot ten 178 maybe you remember him back to the rookie he was the you know, the webtoon artist. He was the Rastafarian, you know, um, crazy guy. And, you know, across the street. And uh, if you saw that series. And so you may not think of him, uh, uh, but you know, here's, here's a picture of him, you know, without the makeup and all that. Um, and he was on, you know, she came on his show as, you know, as a friend. Um, but let's look at the compatibility, see what the numbers are. So it is, oh, his show was called Um Chef. So, you know, um, moon suck, so, um, chef. So if you want to check it out on YouTube, it's there. Um, and so the numbers are 80% in the bots, in the um, numerology, 90% in the bots, 51% in the Vedic, but only 48% below water, 46%, uh, 46% below water uh, for Zodiac. Uh, Sagittarius and Virgo don't work out that well. Um, so, it averages out to 67% though, and six points. Okay, so number eight. You ready for number eight? We're kind of halfway through here. Uh, number eight is somebody she, that Kim Yoo Jung has acted with a lot. They're both childhood stars, and they've done a lot of things together. They've acted together in several dramas. They've done award shows together, and um, you know, they've uh, been seen a lot together on film and on, on TV. And so it's Yo Jin Gu. Yo Jin Gu. Young child actor, 
and they acted together way back in you know i don't know how many times they've gotten been together but they did a one that was uh, popular in 2008 like 12 years ago when they're both very young called uh, Ijimai. and um, then they were very became very popular very famous both of them for a very uh, popular period historical drama that they were in together called Moon Embraces the Sun, um, or Moon Embracing the Sun, or it depends how you interpret it, how you want to use it. Um, but that was in 2012, and that was very popular, and uh, you know, kind of a young, youthful love story, kind of almost like a Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. And that kind of rocketed them both to fame. And so they've known each other before that, though, uh, as little kids. And so their careers have kind of grown together. They're kind of uh, uh, near the same age, you know, he's only, uh, Jingu here is only 23, 24, uh, you know, 23, uh, Western age, 24, you know, Asian age. He's five foot 10, 178 centimeters, and he's a Leo. So, you know, they know each other well, although, you know, he's, 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 even though she admitted that maybe she had a little, she did date when she was, you know, I, I don't know, a teenage, young teenager. He said on one of his programs, one of uh, these variety programs, that he's never really dated anybody. So even though a lot of people put them together, and you know, he's done other things with other actors as well, just like uh, she has. You know, he's, he's done uh, something, a popular drama with um, IU. So anyway, even though he's much younger. So let's see what the, the numbers say for Yo Jin Gu and Kim Yu Jung. And they are 72. 1 point, 80 percent, 2 points, 75 percent, 2 points, but only 43 percent, no points. Because, you know, Leo and uh, Virgo is not the best match, or at least her, her Virgo and his Leo. Um, so that one kind of fell down, but it averages out to 68 percent and 5 points. So percentage higher than the uh, um, um, uh, actually a point lower, but that makes him number 8 in, in this compatibility countdown. So. Number seven, number seven, is actually not an actor. Um, they've actually never acted together. They've been on stage together. You know, Kim Yoo Jung used to be on Inkigayo. She was a host on Inkigayo for you know a year and a half, a couple years, back in 2014, 2016. So about four to six years ago, she was a host on that show, and so she had a lot of idol interaction with idols. And so there's just this, this little clip. Here's it is. This little clip. Well, short clip between, you know, uh, this person, Bobby, from Icon. Bobby kind of making some interesting looks, um, kind of, sort of, uh, at Yu way. And, I don't know, those shippers came out of the woodwork and said, hey, maybe there, there's a thing going on. So, let's see what the numbers say as far as compatibility, if there was a thing going on uh, way back uh, when. Uh, so, they are 83%. That's two points and 90 percent that's three points and you know 61 percent vedic one point but you know he's a sagittarius even though he's only born he's like born nine days before kim taehyung but uh he's a sagittarius and kim taehyung is a capricorn so it doesn't work out too well so the number is 60 percent total so same total as yo jingu same percentage but a point higher so that's the tiebreaker, the, the point system is a tiebreaker when the percentage is the same. So that's Bobby from Icon. Hey, you know, uh, he matches pretty up with, pretty well with Lisa too of, uh, of Blackpink. So you might want to watch my video uh, about Lisa's ships uh, that I did and see where he stacks up. Uh, so number six on the count, compatibility countdown for Kim Yoo Jung is uh, an actor that uh, is kind of closer to her age as well. This person was born on April 17th, 1995. So same year as Bobby, but a little bit older, maybe a half year older. But this person's tall. He's six foot two and 188 centimeters. And actually, I don't know if they've actually acted together. This is an actor, but I don't know if they've actually acted together, Kim Yoo Jung, but it is on Hillsup. On Hillsup. Uh, so, um, they're in discussions in, uh, about a new drama that may be coming up 
uh, that they might act in and shoot early next year or maybe come out later next year or whenever it goes. So there's some discussions about a role together, a kind of a fantasy drama to be announced. Uh, so we'll see if, you know, their agencies can come to terms and they can come to terms, but potentially they may be uh, acting together. So let's take a look at the numbers and they are 88%, three points. Uh, numerology, 90%. Batsa, three more points. Vedic, only 44%, no points. And just get by 50% with one point for astrology. So Aries, you know, Virgo, not the best match. So average out to 68%. So same as Jingu and same as Bobby, but one more point. You know, Jingu had five points and 68%. Bobby had uh, 68% and six points. And then Han Hilsup uh, is got seven points and 68%. So he's number six in compatibility. So let's look at number five. Number five is actually they acted together about seven years ago. This person and Kim Yoo Jung acted about seven years ago together in a thing called The Commitment. Kind of a North Korean kind of uh, centric, centric kind of story. Anyway, he's also, this person is also a K-pop idol. K-pop idol and it is T.O.P. Top. Big Bang, Choi sung -yun. So Choi sung uh, top, is the act together in 2013, seven years ago, on The Commitment. Um, and of course, he's from Big Bang, which, you know, they uh, they wanted to kind of come back together and do a little comeback uh, uh, at uh, Coachella, but of course, the, with the situation, they couldn't do it. So, uh, and he says that uh, he's had some issues since then. I mean, some girlfriend issues and some rumors and bad talk and uh, maybe some uh, maybe a little bit of marijuana drug thing uh, so he's had some controversy around his career and it's been pretty quiet for a while but um, he, I guess he still wants to do a comeback maybe perhaps but only in the US he doesn't want to do it in Korea because of all the gossip and all the controversy but let's see what the numbers say because they did act together in the commitment uh, in 2012 uh, 2013 so the numbers are 82 percent Two points, seventy percent, one point, sixty-five percent in purple, one point, and sixty-three percent, one point. So it averages out to seventy percent and five points. So a little bit higher, um, but it has a little NMD here, uh, fifth rank NMD, and it's in purple. The number in purple in Vedic represents that there's something called Nadi Mahadosha, and it says you know as far as the compatibility and what's best for the health and welfare of the family and having a family and children, it's not recommended unless they're highly devotional and doing all these things. So not likely. So it's not recommended, even though there's a good number. So number four, this person, they acted together about five years ago and they were in a series called Angry Mom. And so they were kind of teenagers in this series and had their, you know, their drama about it. And, uh, but he's also a K-pop idol. So he's acted and is an idol. Um, and this person was with a group called B1A4, and it's Baro, or Cha Sunwoo. So Cha Baro, Cha Sunwoo. He was born in September 5th, 1992. So he's actually also a Virgo. Um, and um, same sign as she is in uh, the Western astrology. He's 28, 29. He's 5'10", uh, 178 centimeters. And let's see what the numbers say about Baro and KYJ. They are 69%, 1 point, 80%, 2 points, 47% in the Vedic, so that's zero. 94% in astrology, 3 points. So that all averages out to 73% and 6 points. They're pretty compatible, 73%, and he's number 4 on the compatibility list. So let's get down to the final three. And actually the next two, it's a tie. They have the same score. So the first one in this tie is somebody who was born on December 25th, 1994. So you know, Christmas day, they were born and about five years older than Kim Yoo Jung. So Capricorn and um, Virgo, they're both earth signs, so they get along well in the, the Western Zodiac. And they did act together. And so this person was in Backstreet Rookie. 
the 2020, uh, the one uh, last last drama she was in, or comedy, whatever you want to call it. But he had a small part. Uh, but here it is, and it is Kim Min Q. Min Q Kim, Min Kim Kim Min Q. And he was in Backstreet Rookie, kind of played a minor role. Uh, let's see what the percentages are for the compatibility between Kim Yoo Jung and Kim Min Q. And they are 64%, one point. For numerology, 90% for three points in Batsu, 65%, one point in Vedic, and 84%. Just missed an extra point, 85%. So we got two points for Zodiac or Western Astrology. So that averages out to 76% and seven points. So he's tied for number two in compatibility and closer to her age too. So it might be a pretty good fit. And who knows, maybe they'll do some things in the future together. Who is he tied with? This is a very popular drama. This was the drama that she did in 2018. Uh, it came out then. And it's with Yoo Kyung Sung. Yoon Kyung Sung. Yoon Kyung Sung is, uh, they were together as lead leads, you know, in that romantic drama called clean with passion for now. He was like this, you know, person who had a, was a clean freak, a germaphobe, and, had, you know, was kind of, you know, had reasons for it in the drama. If you, maybe you've seen, I saw the drama, it's, it was good. Uh, and they had good chemistry, but you know, he's very tall. He's like six foot four. He's like 193 centimeters. Um, and an Aries. Uh, he was born March 31st, 1987. So he's, you know, 12 years older than her, 33, 34. Um, they were on, um, they did a variety show together, yeah, they were on uh, Knowing Brothers. So there's some chemistry there, they, they get along pretty well, and uh, they're compatible. So let's see what the numbers are. They are 95% in the numerology, three points. 70% for the Vatsa, one point. 78% for the uh, Vedic, two points. And 61% for astrology, one point. Uh, Zodiac Western Astrology. So that averages out to 76% and 7 points. Same as Kim Min Q. So they're tied. They're tied for number two. Who's number one? Number one, you know, they have not acted together. They have shared stage together, but they haven't really interacted much together. But there was a little bit of a, a gossip going around uh, not too long ago because they kind of seem to post the kind of the same picture at the same, I think, train station or something. They, you know, those that were shipping them thought that maybe it was the same day, so they were there at the same time. So all of a sudden it became a big gossip about, oh, maybe they're dating, you know, maybe they're together. But it turns out maybe they, were, they took pictures on separate days, different times, you know, so they weren't there at the same time. But those shippers, you know, kind of spread the rumors. And so actually this, person and Kim Yoo-jung are quite compatible. If they were ever, ever to have a relationship, they're pretty compatible based on this system. And so it is. Yep. Hey, ARMY, it's V. Yep, Kim Tae-hyung, V. So, hey, I know some uh, true, true ARMY say, hey, you know, BTS is only for ARMY, but if, V and Kim Yoo Jung were together, they might be pretty compatible. You know, he's a Capricorn, she's a Virgo. He's December 30th, 1995, as you may know. He's only 24, 25, so he's only about three years older. And um, he's 5'10, 178 centimeters. And so let's see what the numbers say about V, Kim Tae Young, and Kim Yoo Jung. They are. 83%, two points for numerology, 90%, three points for Batsu, Chinese astrology, 65% and one point purple uh, for Vedic, and then 90% for Zodiac or Western astrology and three points. So that all adds up to and averages out to 82% compatibility and nine points. So this is pretty high. This is, you know, much higher than everybody else. Um, I mean, who knew? But it's got a little NMD. So NMD is, stands for Nadi Mahadosha in the Vedic astrology. That's why their number's in purple and like in before. It says that, you know, even though the number is not too bad, 
um, a family, uh, the health and welfare of the family may be uh, compromised, may not be a good match, so it's not recommended that they start a family and um, get together that way. But they're very compatible otherwise, and there are ways to overcome that Nadi uh, Maha Dosha, um, but it takes a lot of devotion. So, uh, hey, you surprised? Uh, you army out there, you uh, you K drama army fans, you know you Kim Yu Jung and Kim Tae Young fans. I know there's uh, some shippers out there. I kind of make videos too, um, but you know, there's not much inter interaction with them. And uh, he's really busy, and uh, she's busy. I, I know I don't know K drama um, people don't tend to get too much involved with K pop idols because it's a different lifestyle. Even though they're both famous, I mean K pop they're always running around, they're always training, they're always singing, they're always traveling. You know, and K drama stars, you know, they they yeah they're on, they're filming for you know a couple three months, but then they have some time off. You know, so um, it's a little bit different lifestyle. You know, it's similar because of the pressures and the fame and all those things, but a little bit different. So. Anyway, what do you think? You know, if you want to know about your favorite idol, whether it's K-drama or K-pop, and you want to know your compatibility with them, if you have to like and if you subscribe, and then, uh, and then if you put down in the comments below, like who you want to see who you're compatible with, then we, we need some information from you to make it more accurate. And that is your birth information. That would be the hour, the day, the month, the year, the city, and the country that you were born. And we can kind of match it up with your idol that you want to see your compatibility with and if you like and if you subscribe we'll give you some information on the notes uh, about your compatibility you know what percentage how many points just like we're doing now and uh but you have to like and subscribe because i don't have time to do that for everybody if they don't like and subscribe and if you want to maybe uh if you like and subscribe if you want to see maybe the compatibility of two other uh two idols not just you but maybe two of your ships you know who you're shipping um we'll do that as well but if you like and subscribe and then uh, you don't have to give us some birth information, we can figure that out. And we'll um, give you some you know, answers back uh, in the notes below. So, anyway, that's, uh, if you want to see, uh, we did a fortune reading for Kim Yoo Jung, so you might want to, you know, check my listings or click on this link right here. And um, you can see what we said about her in the previous video. And uh, we have a bunch of other videos, so if you want to know about Kim Tae Young, um, he's in there. Look at my channel and you'll see uh, information on Kim Tae and other BTS members. We've done them all. So anyway, that was kind of interesting. And uh, this is our first K-drama star. And we might do some more. If you have some suggestions of who you want to see as your next K-drama idol that you want to know about their future or maybe their compatibility with uh, their stars, um, you know, just uh, uh, make some notes in the comments below. And you know, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll try to get to the ones that we can. So until next time, wish you all good fortune. Hey, what's up, seekers? Looking in the future, peekers. You K-pop breakers coming round and see us every weekers. Yo, diehard K-pop fans, I want to know your stance. Just let us know your bias, then go ahead, try us.